big name cosmetic company is shutting down their California headquarters and they're going to New Jersey, which really isn't that great, but I guess anywhere is better than Cali these days. So it's Neutrogena. I actually buy some of their products from Costco. They are pretty decent products, personally. And it's a very popular skincare brand. You got a lot of celebrities buying this. You got a lot of people buying this. It's big, Neutrogena. They make all sorts of different items. And their headquarters is now shutting down in Los Angeles on 6080 Center Drive, which is actually a very high-end building. And in the vicinity, you also have Sony headquartered there as well. So what's going on here? Why is everyone seem to be leaving California? Because LA right now's office vacancy rates is absolutely skyrocketing. Look at this. Just in the past few months, it's been going up nonstop. The LA office vacancy rates is just shooting up to the moon. It's actually up to almost 16%, and this is up 2% from just a few months ago. What's going on? Well, it's not really that big of a surprise. Nobody really wants to be in a place where crime is so high. I mean, sure, in Los Angeles, there's some very good locations. Like if you live in West Hollywood, obviously you're not going to be getting that many problems. If you live in like the Hollywood Hills, you're set. But for the vast majority of people, and especially some of the small mom and pop stores and the startups, a lot of them are leaving. And it's not just going to be like the big corps. It's also going to be the movie industry moving to places like Georgia for tax credits. A lot of them are going to Canada and a lot of them are going to Europe. Because one, it's so much better city-wise. Two, there's tax cuts and tax incentives. And at the end of the day, California seems to be taking all these companies and all these small businesses for granted. And because of that, they launched several really iffy and crappy policies. Not only are they kind of anti-business, but they also have extremely high taxes. Make up your mind. If you're going to be taxing people this high, you might as well go pro-business. This is why so many people are leaving California, LA, the Bay, San Diego for a good reason. And if you just look at some of the real estate transactions, you kind of know. AON Center, if you guys live in California, you definitely have seen this very dark skyscraper with white rims. This is a very iconic skyscraper, and it's a 1.1 million square foot office tower in downtown, recently sold for $148 million. But what's really scary is back in 2014, it sold for $269 million. So we're looking at almost a 50% discount from what they paid for a decade ago. Guys, I'm not a 4.0 student, but I could tell you for sure that in 2014, a million dollars is worth so much more than a million dollars today in 2024. It's the inflation, all that money printing. So if you really put the inflation in accounts, this tower has lost so much money that it's actually kind of scary. And usually these very high-end towers and buildings in some of the biggest cities in the world tend to do extremely well. They tend to sell really well. I mean, we talk about how bad New York City real estate is, Toronto and London real estate, but even their high-end buildings sell for pretty decent prices, not 50% off from a decade ago. That's just absurd. And even Musk and several other companies are leaving San Francisco, some because the crime rate is so high, some because their other company buddies are leaving. And then you also have guys like Musk leaving because of city polities and politics. You know, the policies suck. The politics are iffy. You know, he's done and he's leaving. And let's see what happens next. We are seeing a lot of really wild stuff happening in California. The amount of big companies and big corporations leaving is astonishing. Seems like America is having a big turn right now. No longer do talented people have to move to Los Angeles or they have to go to San Francisco or they have to go to New York City. You could go to several of the better cities in America with little to no taxes and you get a lot of pro business benefits, high amenities like Vegas, Austin, Nashville, Miami, Tampa, all amazing places do business. You know, that's where everyone's going. And progressive politicians in San Francisco have spent years telling people that all the shoplifting, the robberies, and vandalism 
It's not real crime. And just use the insurance policies. And this is why so many insurances are leaving. Many insurance companies are dropping many of the small mom and pop stores, which is really sad. Or they insure them, but the small business insurance rates are skyrocketing because insurance wants to make money, right? Maybe the occasional shoplifting is fine, but when every store every single day is constantly being harassed, looted, and shoplifted, insurance rates are going to skyrocket. Some companies are leaving California altogether. California really needs to get its act together.